Hello, I'm Carrie. I cosplay crochet and enjoy history bounding. In years past, I would look at how I did on my cosplay and costuming goals for a year. There's not much point in doing that for 2022, as early on in the year I found out I was pregnant, and that really changed what I could feasibly do and what I wanted to do. So instead, I thought that I would look at some of my favorite creations from 2022. With expecting, uh, the maternity clothes really became not just practical and, and useful, but they were also very fun projects. I'm not sure which of the three is my favorite, Though I am thrilled that I finally made something out of that uh, dress that I had from when I was a teenager. It's a great history bounding dress and I love that it worked with the baby bump. A lot of historic clothes are good that way, mind you. I am super proud of the Lolita goth kilt. I made a three-piece suit in purple plaid that then won Best in Show at Costume Con. I still can't get over that. I think the most useful item from last year was the crocheted clush, that hat. a lot. It's perfect for spring and fall. As long as the wind isn't too bad, it keeps me nice and warm. Not exactly a creation or crafty thing, but it was really, really nice to be able to go to a convention again. I have really missed going to cons. Being able to hang out with other similarly minded, creative cosplayers, costumers, history bounders. I don't know when I might be able to get to another convention. It's not easy with a baby cosplays. I did actually manage to do a cosplay this year. I did Thor from Endgame. Um, the beard, not the most comfortable thing, but it looked really effective. A lot of people were just shocked when I wore that to work. And people who were familiar with the movie 
knew exactly what I was doing. And it was a really nice, other than the beard, comfortable cosplay. Uh, especially when I was, what, eight and a half months pregnant? Getting close, yeah, eight and a half months pregnant. Pajama pants, those were thrifted. The hoodie was thrifted. The gloves I'd had for years. I made my beard and the vest. But I mean, really, it was just wonderful to be able to wear pajama pants to work. That's not exactly something that uh, <clears throat> I get to do. What's on the horizon for 2023? I don't know. But I'm sure there will be some type of baby things. What would I like to work on? I really want to get some work done on the World War I St. John Ambulance VAD uniform. And I've started to get some materials ready, some patterns ready. And I think soon I should be able to actually make, make progress on that costume. I'd also like to do a little bit of some of the fun after Wonderland for my Alice in Wonderland to steampunk it up a bit. The fun things for that costume. But who knows what the year will bring. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you will continue to join me on my creative journey. So make sure you subscribe to watch all of the fun creative content that I will be doing this year. Until next time, have fun, be creative, and take care. There's a train. Ooh, it's very foggy out there. Coming to you from my parents' guest bedroom.